So I thought I'd share an example of how a single mindware program that was created by my survival mind drove my life and me insane for over four decades. So my childhood tortures attacked me randomly whenever I wasn't perfect. The challenge was that there was never really a definition of perfect. It changed all the time at their whim. My horse ate a tomato off of a vine. I went to the cellar. <laughs> it was it was blindside after blindside. And in my mind, my child's mind, being fur perfect became equated with surviving. The belief grew and suddenly over time my mind were new. The only way to avoid death is to be perfect. Now, fast forward to me as an adult. I had to be perfect and I drove myself nuts. I timed myself and did motion studies when I put on my makeup. I did the same thing when I got dressed, when I cooked, when I cleaned, when I did the laundry. Every damn thing I did had to be perfect. And that included my work as a consultant. I drove everybody insane. With my drive to make it absolutely perfect, I would drive myself nuts and work myself to the bone. And I did it over and over and over again. Now, my clients loved my drive to do everything perfectly for them. My team's not so much. But what no one knew that was to me, I was failing constantly. And my survivor mind was on high alert because I was living 24 by 7 in a near-death situation thanks to my lack of perfection. I'd go home and sob because I wasn't perfect and evil was coming for me. I was always in danger and I had no clue why I felt that way. And then the memories came up and I understood. I still remember the day we cleared my perfection programming with a journey. The choir of scary voices in my head went quiet and my heart healed. I sobbed again that day, but it was sobs of relief because I was finally free of the terror I had my whole life. That survival mind program was so strong that it ran my life. And it still speaks to me once in a while. You know, it's nothing like before, but it's still there once in a while. And I think, you know, we all have that we're not good enough. But here's the thing. When I recognize it, I step back and I laugh. And I say, unconscious mind, I understand why you believe this. But you know what? I can be imperfect. And then I go do something really messy and really imperfect. And I enjoy every minute of that freedom. <laughs>